Welcome to the Dr. Hutch Show. And good evening. I'm Dr. J.L. Hutchison Jr. And, and I- I'm Evangelist Elaine P. Jones, co-host. Today's topic is, it's time for all hell to break out. Yes, it's time for all hell to break out as far as this topic that we're going to be talking about today is going to be some things that I want to give you an understanding of what your enemy is and when you're dealing with uh, spiritual things this is a, a broadcast with the Dr. Hutch show and in a cooperation with 1220 Beyond the Word our other show we just decided just to do one show today and uh, it's time for all hell to break out is uh, basically Bible prophecy mm-hmm. is a thing that a lot of people don't understand Mm-hmm. And uh, today, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about our enemy. Mm-hmm. We're going to cover some things in regards to today's world. We're going to talk about a couple of things that Jesus has said that have warned us. Mm-hmm. And we're going to give you some insight of some things that you probably don't understand. Because most of the time, we have a misunderstanding or a ignorance to mm-hmm. the things of the Spirit. And um, this is to help give you the understanding uh and let you know some things um uh let me give you some background before i go any further despite what you see on the surface Mm -hmm. sometimes that's happening some things that's happening below uh what is happening below depends on the immoral 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 i'm sorry about that and evil doings of what's going on on the surface Mm -hmm. so understanding that we need to understand that what we're doing in life today has consequences Mm -hmm. if somebody murders somebody if somebody lies somebody steals somebody do something our sins and our deeds Mm -hmm. give power to the demonic forces Mm -hmm. and the demonic forces feed off of our energy of the things that we do Mm -hmm. things that are against god when when the world decides to go against god when they took prayer out of school you know and there's a lot of things that they did to change things like we have abortion abortion is a huge thing uh people say it's the woman's choice But I believe it's not a woman's choice. I believe that it was an agreement between our government and the demons, which they call themselves as aliens. The more death, the more evil, and the more of the um, the killing of young babies coming into the world is to prevent God's prophecy from coming true. Because when you look at scripture, what do you see? You see abortion throughout the scripture where they kill the young firstborn child, Mm -hmm. which is a male, to kill that baby so that no other prophet can come about. And that is what's going on today in modern times. But we are so ignorant to believe that this is a woman's choice because that's the way they play it to us. And we're going to talk about some things, too. And I want you to remember the uh, movie Ghostbuster. It had a few series, but I hope you recall what the Ghostbusters, the ghost counted on the power. The power was the immoral behavior and the lack of love for for others and anything. The demonic forces fed on those things. They right. fed off the negative energy, which empowered them. Mm-hmm. Um, that is true. Po- the true power was fear. You know, the movie Ghostbuster had real truth to it. A lot of people right. didn't know it. It was covered with satire because of Bill Murray and, them and, and Dan, Dan Aykroyd mm-hmm. and the laughter and all that different right. stuff. But before making the movie, they spent hours and millions of dollars studying ghost behavior. Mm-hmm. Haunted houses. They hired uh, ghost researchers. The reason was to understand the very nature of the being. Mm-hmm. For your information, haunted spirits evil spirits and other demonic forces they are demons right they real people have different names they call them aliens yes ghosts yeah um let me think of something else they call them uh zombies and things like that all of these things are to distract us from the truth 
there are no other created beings mm -hmm. other than what God has said. And that's the human beings and the angels and also the fallen angels and the demons. Yeah, and that brings me to the evils. The spirit world is real. Jesus told us that this world existed because mm -hmm. he created it. You right. know, the devil has been very successful in fooling people that he doesn't exist. So right. people don't believe the devil exists. Our leaders of the world know that, that the devil exists because so, they worship him in secret. Absolutely. You will never see or hear any mainstream leader mention Jesus Christ with any power God is okay because they use the same word to honor their God which is the devil and for a sec let me tell you about what the you know because a lot of people we don't understand as far as the devil we say oh yeah you know he's a boogeyman or whatever but the devil is real you know we need to understand that first of all all the images uh, that you see of the devil with horns and pitchforks is inaccurate according right, to the Bible. Right. If you use the Bible as a, our authority, mm -hmm. then the devil looks nothing like we can imagine. Mm -hmm. Nothing like we can imagine. He originally, the name was Lucifer. Mm -hmm. He was described as the bright morning star. Satan was the greatest of all God's creation. The greatest of all the angels and the, the most. Mm -hmm. The being that he was... God had ever created including human beings that were made and he was the highest cherub and in Hebrews we Satan means the accuser the Bible describes him as a accuser of the saints so everything you do the devil is telling God see look what look what Jimmy doing look what Elaine doing look what Trayvon doing look what uh, Tyrese is doing He's constantly telling God about what we're doing mm -hmm. because he said, how could they love you? How could they abide by what you, your laws and all this different stuff? Right. They're constantly, he's constantly accusing. Mm -hmm. But all the, all that and said that the, in Ezekiel 28, 12 through 18, um, describes the devil. He was uh, covered with uh, jasper, diamonds, ruby, onyx, all types of different jewels jewels he was covered mm -hmm. and he was very beautiful he was blameless when he was with God and as you read in the description in Ezekiel you'll see the precious stones all the things diamonds emeralds ja jasper those are things that we admire and we want those things mm -hmm. and they use that in Hollywood to entice us mm -hmm. and we get enticed by that but a lot of people don't understand how that let's let me give you a quick description of a cherub because uh, the devil was a cherub uh, angel Mm -hmm. uh, so Satan has what does a cherub look like it could actually be seen to be if you was to see them you would be frightened mm -hmm. you know they not those little chubby uh, uh, little angels look yeah. like little kids yeah, like with little wings babies, and stuff right? like that you know if you was to see them you would have to uh, you would be frightened because the devil as far as the enormous size they're eight they're 18 feet tall so an angel is 18 feet tall and they have four wings and in their wings and on their backs on the wings and on their their back they have eyes multiple eyes everywhere and then when you see their faces they have four faces they have a face of uh, they have uh, as far as I'm saying, they have a face of of, uh, of a cherub a angel they have a face of a man they have a face of an eagle and a face of a lion. So they have four faces. So I don't know if you ever seen that movie where they have the the guy that has like the uh, the four faces. He got a, on the side and the back is the uh, they call them the, the not the nectar rings or nectar something that's in that movie with uh, um, Van Diesel plays oh. and he's uh, chasing and they trying to kill him. He's the chosen one with the with the eyes that can see the spirits and stuff like that. And he's nectarine people. They they suck on the necks and all this stuff mm -hmm. and put those things in people's necks to control their mind. Mm -hmm. Well, they have those faces. They had like four faces, but the the devil, as far as the angels, they have all these eyes on the back on their back on their wings they under their wings they have hands you know so they can do things but the size of 18 feet tall when you see that i mean how many people would run and break camp you right. know they're so enormous 
Yeah, mm -hmm. they're enormous, you know, just like the uh, guardian angels. They're enormous. They're big. You know, mm -hmm. can you imagine something like that? And when you see something like that, they're too frightened. Demons are so ugly that they are afraid of looking into mirrors because they are so afraid of themselves. When they look at themselves, it scares them. So if it scares them and they are um, uh, spirit beings, what do you think is going to do to us? You know, you know, and it's uh, and that itself is scary just to even think about. And then people go and invite these demons into their lives. Mm -hmm. People use Ouija boards. They go to uh, the bookstore, look at the new age section, research and do different things. People go into the mirror and screaming Bloody Mary. And next thing you know, the demon shows up. And it's all these things that when you invite demons into your life right they attach to your life i was um uh watching uh, some video this past week and a lady she since she was the age 10 years old had a demon that invited her that was invited into her life and that demon went around with her everywhere she was to go and as she got older that demon didn't want her to get married didn't want her to her job was to destroy other people's marriages mm -hmm. and um, the minister was praying and then he spotted her and he called the demon out and the demon turned around and uh, started cursing at the the minister and then the um, then he said in the name of Jesus and first thing the demon said don't use that name and then he said say it again please don't use that name and then he said in the name of Jesus and the demon fell down to the ground and the demon was screaming out and all that different stuff and then the, um, the one guy uh, kid he had a thing on his eye and the thing that he had on his eye the uh, it was like a, a, a cancer or something his eye was closed shut mm -hmm. and he prayed for him and it was a demon that had put that thing there mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people don't understand the spiritual is huge it mm -hmm. is what rules the world uh, as of today I was watching the, I was look, reading the news and um, they're going to take the Ten Commandments out the Ten Commandments they don't want the Ten Commandments to be into the government and the reason it is is because the demonic forces have been empowered to attack the hearts and mind. So once the once the Ten Commandments, you know, say, oh, that's just the Ten Commandments. What's the first thing about the Ten Commandments? Thou shalt not kill. So in other words, those things are people say that there's been gov there's been cases, law cases that says that the um, Ten Commandments is bad for the people's mind and hearts and body. And the thing, the first thing, thou shall not kill. See, the devil, the devil's plan, his agenda is to take away anything dealing with God, anything to convert the people to evil deeds. Once that takes away, then the death angel is about to be re released. Thou shall not kill is a direct law from God. And that will be struck down. Jesus said, when you see these things happening, do not worry. Mm -hmm. These things must happen. Right. Those who trust in the Lord, your redemption is near. Do not fear. Once again, back to the movie Ghostbusters. Do you remember in the setting in New York City where the people were mean, rude, and evil? Under the city was a river of lava that was floating through the city sewer system. And the people, evil deeds, increased the lava and made it more powerful. And this green stuff turned into a monster. This depiction in the movie Ghostbusters is truly a reality. Mm -hmm. Because in order for demons to come into the dimension, into our dimension, right. they have to be invited and evil has to be present. Right. Based on the past 20 years, America has become an evil place. Mm -hmm. Love has been changed to like and dislike. Um... Your your neighbors have become your enemy, and the devil the devil has continued to expand his agenda, mm -hmm. which is hosting all the evil that is needed to bring demonic power into our dimension, right. which they like to call themselves aliens. Right. Aliens is nothing but fallen exactly. angels, and they're liars and they're deceivers, and they are many of them yes. in all types of forms and principalities and kingdoms. They exist in the world today as they exist in the day of Noah. Right. And uh, people don't understand that we think that we are advanced. We're not advanced.
is because people back in the days of Noah they were flying around in spaceships they were going back and forth to space they had better technology than we had they had things that was on their faces that were like um, that read their mind so I can talk to you without not even saying a word you can pick up thoughts and all that stuff the devil has done he has deceived us into believing that we are the first generation we're the first people we're not Right. that's a lot right. we the technology God says that he destroyed everything right. I was just reading in, uh, if you was to read in Psalms chapter 9 you'll see that God destroyed many cities yeah. and perished them and it seemed like they didn't even exist they do exist today mm -hmm. look at, at the uh, look at the ruins and the things that we're finding but I hate to break it to you today is that the devil is real and Satan and his cohorts are real and those scary movies you have been seeing with the werewolves the goblins gremlins uh, leprechauns and aliens these movies are a true influence of the demonic world it's a reality right and, and you, you know what everything that you're talking about today is worded in the Bible I mean even from what you said about the angels being so astonishing in their appearance if you think about every passage of scripture that you've read where someone had a visitation from the an angel the first response was fear yes and the fear wasn't because of what the angel was doing the fear was because of their very appearance the bible would say and an angel appeared and then the next reaction was and the person was afraid yes. and the angel would have to say fear not Yes. Or sometimes they would even literally fall yeah. because their appearance was so astonishing. The person who saw them got weak in the knees <laughs> and just fell to their knees. Yeah. So that's how astonishing their appearance is. So this is how we know that what you're saying today, Dr. Hutch, is true because Scripture validates all of that. Yeah. And the Bible even talks about uh, in the book of Corinthians, it says that the things that are unseen are more real than the things that are seen and I'm paraphrasing right now and that's because they have existed and always have existed yeah and then the thing with the uh, generations that come the devil has been able to deceive them through movies Hollywood mm -hmm. yes. sitcoms television um, different types of things social network to yes. deceive them because most of the time when you look in scripture you see like Caleb and Jacob mm -hmm. and um, and Joshua those were the young generations that came and worshiped God and came and was bringing their families back the generations back from their failures mm -hmm. of not completely following the Lord and today Hey, you don't have that revolution you don't have the that the people are deceived and the kids when they find themselves and wake up in hell you know all the stuff that they're doing and and the things that that the world has been able to fool them into believing I right. mean for example they they turned around and just uh, same-sex union they say okay right. you know as far as proposition 8 in California right. and you know California actually sets the tone of what happens across America mm -hmm. and the one thing that people should be afraid of once there is no love because remember demons thrive in a place where there is no love where right. they at there is no love they mm -hmm. don't like is no thing of reason or anything like right. that the whole idea is to kill you and that's it bottom right. line to use you to the extent of whatever it is that they want and destroy you yes. and when you, once you dead once you die and you have no chance of redemption mm -hmm. to come to know God that's why they try to kill you before you come to know who Jesus Christ is right. and because if if you don't then you going to hell along with them because we have had all have had the opportunity right. and that's what they use and that's what they thrive on yes and, and and another thing I think about too Dr. Hutch one of the biggest deceptions not just in the world but also in the church is that Satan and demons don't exist yeah and it, to try to pretend that you know the, all of that is just made up and that's or that's all passed away yeah I hear you on that that's going to be our next show we don't want to 
to get oh, into that. I want to. Yeah, I was I wanna, just saying. Yeah, you know, I want to talk that about I that. About that. Yeah, I want to talk about that and get into the local church and see. And we're going to dismantle some things and get people. Today, we want to get people to open their eyes and to see that things and decisions that have been made. First of all, uh, you have the same-sex marriage union. You have the attack on the Ten Commandments. You have the attack on the civil rights. First of all, you say, okay, it's okay, okay for a man to marry a man, a woman to marry a woman. That's cool. Then you have the um, uh, the Ten Commandments being attacked, taking that out of government. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Then the Civil Rights uh, Act, no, blacks will not have a right to vote anymore. So that will be taken away. So that will cause riot with the blacks. Right. You got the Trayvon Martin case happening. That's to be publicized and analyzed and all that mm -hmm. stuff and sell advertisement dollars. And that's to get the people upset into a racial, racial anger. Mm -hmm. You got the chemtrails going on. And the chemtrails is what changes the attitude and the minds of the people. Mm -hmm. You got the politics. You got the stock market. You got all these things. And everybody's living in fear. And everybody everybody's afraid of each other they're fighting kids are fighting in school parents are fighting collectors all these different things people are all up in the roar mm -hmm. because that what helps bring the demons into the dimension and people start seeing ufos and all this stuff and do you see the movie transformer transformer the transformer movies is the demons just telling you exactly what they can do right. they can trans transform themselves into they can look like a car they can look like a person a computer they can look like we, an object yeah or a, a object baby. like we seen that one video where the guy was uh messed with the demons conjuring them up and trying to find out what the demons were doing they turned into the little girl and then the demon turned into a old baby doll and the guy went to look for the baby doll and it was standing up in the corner looking at him and that was real he videotaped it because demons once once after they videotape they say that the uh in real action you can't see it but the video captures the spirit and the spirit you can actually see that demon yeah we have seen demons walking around the house you know, i mean far as different stuff I, one day i was sitting down at in uh at the desk and i seen a demon walk right through the door and walk in back to the back room and I stopped him and he turned around he looked at me and I rebuked him and he left mm -hmm. I mean we have seen that you know I was uh in a house that I was going to buy and a demon walked up to me and thought he was going to make me uh, scared he manifest himself in the bathroom when I was standing in the mirror and he he he, he thought, thought I was just going to run I didn't run you know, I was in a room one day. And, uh, and But say this, though, Dr. Hutch. What was it that gave you power over that demon to to command that demon to do what you wanted rather than you doing what he wanted and being afraid yeah, and running? Yeah, and let me point that out. And that was being filled with the Holy Spirit during that time. I was prayed and up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's most what definitely. they're afraid but, of. But it has to come from the heart. Right. Yeah, you have I mean, to believe. The Bible says believe. that if you believe, these signs shall follow them that believe mm -hmm. in my name, they will cast out devils. That's why uh, there was a, a story in the Bible about the seven sons of Sceva. Yeah. And they were imitating what they saw Paul and yeah. the other apostles doing by casting out demons. And they said, well, they're using this Jesus name. We can do that, too. Mm -hmm. Well, when they tried it, it didn't work. The demons turned on them and beat them so bad and ripped their clothes off and everything. And they went running in the streets naked. They really made a fool of them because they were using the name of Jesus like many are today. Mm -hmm. But they don't believe that Jesus Christ is the only true and living God. And folks, we must be fully persuaded mm -hmm. because all of this deception is only going to increase to make us think there are other created beings. The Bible does not say there was never other created beings. Study to show yourselves approved. You must believe and know that there is no other name and there is only one name that is above every power, dominion, and throne. And that is the name of Jesus Christ. And that is important. 
and we see all these movies today that's portraying all these demonic things but they they're hiding and saying okay there's zombies they're this and they're that but the thing is we're going to see we're going to witness more death than we have ever seen in the history of mankind mm -hmm. in the next few years so many people are going to die there's going to be so much death that they will not be able to have enough funerals they would just take people and bury them in the ground they would see fine you'll find people in the trash can you'll find bodies will be stinking everywhere because like the Bible says that there will be a third of the population will die and that's 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 in the book of revelations that is true and I want you to understand that those principalities and demonic forces exist today and you will be introduced to them soon they live underground they live in mountains they live in the hills around the world. You heard of Bigfoot and right. all those different things. The reason they can't it's find demon. Yeah, the reason they can't find Bigfoot and all those different things is because they're demonic beings. They live in a different dimension. It's mm -hmm. just like you walk in behind a closed door that you can't even see. Mm -hmm. You know, as as we continue to pervert pervert the world and denounce God's word where man sleeping with man, woman sleeping with woman, all these different things, mm -hmm. taking away God's Ten Commandments, that opens the door to the demonic spirits. You're going to see more people possessed by demons. You're going to see more animals attacking people. Mm -hmm. You're going to see all types of lions and tigers and different stuff getting out of cages and escaping from the zoo, attacking people like that happened in Ohio. All types of things that you'll see that will happen things that you can't explain like mysterious deaths uh, crop circles all those are demonic activities by fallen angel their powers are manifesting themselves and they can change themselves into anything right you know do not be afraid because they want you to be afraid right. you need to understand that the government knows all about these beings they know they exist mm -hmm. because they have made a treaty with these different demonic things that felt said that they are angel right. that they are um they're aliens but they're lying they're deceivers and all they want is wealth and wealth and wealth and the thing is people we need to understand that we have been trained and educated to believe that these things doesn't exist mm -hmm. and jesus is lord over every every principality and power and ruler jesus christ is who the creatures fear and we need to be on the right team and understand if you don't believe nothing i said nothing completely nothing i said about demons and spirits and all this and go on continue to live your life and wake up in hell that's your pleasure a lot of people and we're going to be talking about after we talk about the church series we're going to talk about heaven because a lot of people talk about heaven but they don't understand what heaven is about heaven it, we're going to explain the different elements of the space you know you see the sky above you space going beyond space what the black holes mean we're going to educate you on those things we're going to educate you on why now is not flying any uh, rockets up to the moon anymore because they have gotten into time travel that time travel is real where you can go back into your history but you can't affect if you try to effectively change anything you can lose your life but you can go back and observe things you know it's things that we don't understand that they have been keeping a secret look at the technology from 2000 from the year 2000 until 2013, the technology of the cell phone, exactly. how it has had expanded yes. and things have changed. That is a trade-off between the aliens, which is the demonic spirits, demons, demons giving us their technology, mm -hmm. and we trading our technology for human life because they do research on us. That that's why you see so many people missing. Remember back in the day, kids on the milk carton. A lot of those people are still alive. They live underground in the underground cities. We have over 435 underground cities around the world. A lot of people don't know that. And when you go and you study and you see that and you see it exist, people are shocked. And then at the same time, the devil is always good at saying, like he told Eve, he said, you know, you're not going to truly die. He is the deceiver. He tries to pretend to be our friend, to be friendly, and going to help us, mm -hmm. you know, and going to save us 
from all of these evil things that actually he's the one that's causing yeah and there's one thing I want people to understand is that if you understand and you listening you're not blind because the devil has blinded a lot of people I'm gonna let uh, Evangelist Lang uh, give us a heart to heart moment well today I want to share two scriptures one is from Romans 12 and 10 and it says love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other that is something that God has said from the very beginning and we know that God is love and he gave us Jesus Christ out of his love for us and so we are to continue to love because love is what motivates the power and presence of God mm -hmm. and all of the good things that he wants for us so we know that love is also one of the fruit of God's spirit and that is what Satan wants to get rid of is love and affection and being compassionate and understanding with other human beings and accepting you know other people's differences and I don't mean it